Hello friends, Lord Verminard, back again, in my garage, whoa, sometimes I forget there's other cars in this game, like, because sometimes you don't see them for a while, and then there's just like, wow, there's one right there, I was just also admiring these beautiful clouds, that was lovely, yes, so what are we going to do today, um, <clears throat> again, you have to excuse my voice, I'm still recovering from, from the plague, so I'm trying to uh, trying to get back into things. So I have to take some pauses occasionally to do stuff. Um, hey, look, the paint is back on this rear wheel. Yeah, so I've got a lot of work to do on this thing. Like the whole car is completely just just munted. Um, I probably have enough money, but I think I think I want to earn some more because reasons. So let's go have a hop over here and see what's in this place. Because you can make you can make quite a bit of coin off of one of these cars if you find the right one with that needs the right kind of work done, you know. Sometimes the cars in here are just complete garbage. Other times they're pretty good deals. Like this one's gotten hit pretty bad. And that's probably not going to pound out. But the rest of the car doesn't look bad. Oh, we got a bad valve cover. We got a bad... Oh, jeez. We got a bad head. The block is okay. The timing cover is not. The water pump is bad. See, that looks like a lot of work to me. <clears throat> There appears to be something wrong with the suspension on this car. Whoa, when we got all kinds of different colored body panels. Look at that. Oh, the engine looks good, though. Uh, how much they want? I bet they want a lot for this. Yeah, 24 grand. Yeah, I don't think so. No way. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This has got some rust. Uh, 7,900 bucks. Got a bad head and a bad trans. Okay, and a bad starter. I don't know. I wonder if I can replace all that junk and make any money off of this and also fix up the rest. Let's try it. Why not? It's mine now. All right. Uh, let's bring this turd home and see what we can do with it. Is there anything? Looks like maybe there's something wrong with the suspension, too, because it's sitting a little bit lower on the right side or on the left side here. Yeah. Yes. All right. Come on. Alright. Did it say it had a bad starter? Oh my. Definitely appears like it's lacking in power a bit. Um. Alright, let's just pull this turd right in here. Stop. Do that. Turn that. Pop out. Yes. All right. What to do first? Let's see. Well, let's do the crap that's going to be a pain in the butt first, and that's going to be all this junk. Um. Also, I could probably... It would probably make a lot of sense to put this up on the lift, too. Here, let me just shove this thing out of the way. Yep. And shove this over here. Just like that. <gasps> Oop. Hopefully I didn't damage it. <laughs> Nobody saw that. That's fine. There we go. That's... That's looking about right. 
<clears throat> okay. Good. Um, let's take this hood off, because... Why are you right here? Is this... I don't remember putting you here. All right. Uh, your own hood. Nope. There. That can go over there. So let's go. Looks like this. Um, this air cleaner lid is bad. So let's pop that. Or not the lid. The uh, the base here. Whoa, the air filter is bad too. I undid an extra bolt somewhere. Where was that? Crap. Wonder what that was. Ah, man, I hate when that happens. That means it was probably something internal to the engine. Damn it. Freaking pain in the butt. All right. All right, the carburetor is good. Um, can I take... Yeah, I, mean, I think I can take all this crap off. All at the same time. Looks like maybe maybe it was that lower manifold. Uh, I think it was that uh, the exhaust manifold bolt actually. Um. Okay, I unbolted you, but that's 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 fine. Dude, chill, just chill, chill out, just sit right there, out of the way, safely out of the way. Okay. Freaking weird, man. All right. Why won't this come undone? Oh, that's not loose. All right. There we go. Doink. Excellent. Okay. Take this off. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Okay. I hate, like, go switching back and forth between the view, the zoom view, but, like, it's almost impossible to walk around with the zoom view on. It just, like, messes with my head big time. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The camshaft is bad as well. And it looks like the timing chain might also be bad. Really? All right. Well, let's just yank this whole business off of here. I wonder if it'll let me do it with the spark plug still on. Yes, it will. Okay. Head gasket's good. I'm going to reuse that. Never reuse a head gasket. But in this case, I'm going to do it. All right, now we can look at the spark plugs. It's almost impossible to tell if they're bad unless you get right up on them. Those are all good, so I'll take those out. Yes, this might work. I can't... Is that chain good? It looks weird, but I think it's... I think it's good. Okay, I want I want to take the spark plugs out, please. Can I do that? Can I can I please remove the spark plugs? There we go. Okay. 
they do uh call up um like O'Reilly's auto parts or advanced auto parts or something be like hey can I get a remand head <laughs> uh geez okay so I guess I gotta do that starter and the freaking transmission too which is that's a whole thing uh where the hell is my wrench well there you are also I guess this water pump is fine we could save that dude stand up oh my god okay now kneel down there we go so we got that and that and that doink and let's go ahead and it's got bad brake lines too and a bad booster uh, good lord it's like well time to rebuild the whole dang car i guess i haven't even gotten to the suspension yet All right, I'm gonna have to lift it to do the rest of that. So, uh, this is this is great. Um, here, let me let me uh, organize my pots here real quick. All good part go here. All bad part go over there. <laughs> okay, bad part here. This good part. All right. You, bad part. I think it'd be kind of cool, too, if there were, like, different revisions of the cylinder head and you had to make sure you get you get the right one. Like, because that's, like, you know, in real life, that's the kind of crap you got to deal with, right? It's like, oh, it's just a, you know, it's a Chevy 350. They're all the same. No, they're absolutely not all the same. Like, one of the heads might work, but... It's all the other crap that's connected to it that's not going to work because it's all different. <laughs> that used to drive me crazy when I went when I worked at Advanced Auto Parts. Like people come in and I ask them for specific information about the engine, the like, which engine code it was, or something like that. And they're like, "Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all the same." I'm like, "I guarantee you that it does matter because otherwise it wouldn't be in here." And then they don't, they, you know, then they can't find the right information because the car isn't there. It's back at home or whatever. And uh, so then they basically like twist your arm into selling you, getting you to sell them just whatever the first part is that comes up for it or just having you pick one. And then sure enough, they come back a couple hours later. Man, this, you sold me the wrong part. It's like, yeah, because you didn't have all the right information. Do you have the engine code now? Yeah, okay. Well, I can get you the right part then. Man. The number of times that I had that argument with a customer, it's just like, it just blows me away. All right. That should be... Oh. The, uh... That's not attached to the trans, that's attached to the... What's a who's it? Okay, oh, there we go. There! Bad part. Clunk. What is that, five-speed? Okay, so we need a five-speed box, we need a head, we need a cam. We need... Oh crap, I guess I better check, check the clutch and junk too. Looks like the clutch might be screwed as well. It's actually hard to tell. Uh, I'm going to have to do some x-ray vision here. Ah, uh, 
I really can't tell. It looks like it's okay. Looks like it might be all right. Oh God, I'm lifting the car with my head. All right, yeah, I think it's okay. All right, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, so let's get the let's get the expensive junk here. So we got what is this, a lad? Yeah. I didn't even check to see what engine this is. Not that it probably matters. That's the one five. Okay, screamer. I guess it doesn't matter. All the I fours are the same. All right. We need a transmission. Well, we need a cylinder head. So we're going to get that. Uh, we need a camshaft. We need an air filter housing and an air filter. We need... I think that distributor was bad too, wasn't it? We'll worry about that later. Five-speed gearbox. Uh, plug wires, starter. All right, that's probably enough for now. Um, let's toss the transmission in there first. Oh god. Oh no. Oh crap. What have we done? What have we done? Oh, this is bad. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, nuts. This is bad. Okay. Okay. Something broke. What broke? Uh, it doesn't look like it damages the car too bad. So there's that. Good grief. Oh, how am I going to get it out of here? I can't drive it. There we go. We just defy physics. That's how we do it. There. Grief, man. I wonder what the heck happened. I think when I stood up and, like, picked the car up with my head, it must have, like, messed up its position on the lift or something. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Let me readjust some of this junk here just in case. Yeah, this is kind of, this is a little bit off over here. Um, eh. I kind of wish this game had like a dedicated push like, uh, like my summer car does. All right, let's try that again. All right, so far so good. What did I break? Did I break a headlight or something? I don't even know. Like, I heard a pop and a bang. And glass breaking. But I don't see any broken glass anywhere. Unless one of the windows busted out or something. I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Um, where the hell did the transmission go? Oh, it's right here. There we go. Much less dramatic this time. And my wrench would be where? Here we go. Oh my god, why can't I walk under it? That's something that definitely needs some adjustment in this game. Is that... <sighs> You can't walk under the cars when they seem like they should be high enough. But then if you try to put them higher, you can't reach any of the stuff you're trying to get to. Well, that's got a bad controller on that side, too. Look at that. And a bad brake line. Yeah, this thing is going to basically require an entire, complete, full rebuild. 
<sighs> All right. Uh, let me do the starter from under here as well. That should make it a little bit easier. Start Nader. Where are you at? There you are. And wait, is it going this side? Yes, that side. All right, there we go. Get her back down on the ground. Look, I already got that bolt. All right. Uh, that one and that one. I think that's it. I think I got the ones on this side. Yep. All this needs a new oil filter, too. Yeah, this distributor is bad. Let's go ahead and yank that off. Jeez. This thing needed a lot of attention. Good lord. Alright, let's grab that head and get it prepped here. Alright, there we go. Ah, I had that right the first time. Damn it. Alright. Okay. Orientations are hard. That in there. That in there. Oh, for God's sakes, just go in the hole. Why, why do you fight me? Okay. Excellent. It wasn't that hard. Okay, camshaft. In you go. All right, there's that. Flap that back on there. Stick that back on there. Uh, lost my wrench again. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. I kind of wish you could get a different colored wrench. A chroma is like hard to see sometimes. All right, do oh right can't pick that up once you're holding something. Just stupid. There we go. Uh, cam cover. There we are. Okay. Uh, water pump. Stick that back on there, too. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I could have sworn that fell down to the floor the first time. I went under there to look for it, and it was gone. And then it was, like, back up. Weird. All right, wrench is gone again. Where is it? Where is it this time? Oh my god, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's just stuck in the wall. And so am I. Help. Stuck. All right. Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> What was I putting on? I, for, I forgot now. Okay, that's already on. It was the water pump. That's right. Okay.
Uh, there's got to be more than one bolt for that, right? There we go. Okay. There we go. And I don't think I need any on the... Yeah. Okay, good. There. Okay. Uh, let's rummage through our new parts here. Yep, we need... Oh my god. Okay, we need... Oh, dude. Alright. Oh no, I gotta put on all the manifolds and junk, too. Alright, um... We need a distributor, right? Where... Oh, there you go. Uh... I want to get the, uh, the brake line as well. Two of those and one of those. All right. Um, distributor nader. That goes right here. There we are. Wires right here. Excellent. Uh, oil filter. Crap. That's what else. What else I needed? Uh, engine. Oil filter. Nope. Uh, game. I scrolled at one click and it like went in the entire oh my god, it went like an entire frame instead of instead of just one click. Okay, we'll just yank that off and stick that one on. There we go. All right. <coughs> um Okay, manifolds, yes. Let's do that now. Those on there like that. All right, this is all working out quite well. I hope this is going to be worth it. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Every time you do this, it can, it can either work out really well or it can be a total crapshoot. Oh my god, my guy keeps deciding he wants to jump into that corner of the front porch for some reason. Not really sure why. There we go. Uh, oh yeah. Need this. There we go. Uh, nuts. There. What do we got left here? Uh, oh yeah, the brake booster. And the uh, crappy brake lines too. All right. Undo that. And... Oh, this has got the old school style dash. Neat. Let's see, that's these two, right? There we go. 
Uh, and so to take the main brake lines off, I have to... I have to get up under here and unbolt them all, don't I? It's kind of a pain. Uh, yep, can't get under it. Okay, now it's too high. Looks like that one's bad. Oh, see, that was the wrong bolt. Damn it. All right. Okay, so I got to lower it back down. There we go. That one's bad. That one's bad. Uh, all right, this one's okay. This one's bad. So I need one more. And there goes the main line, wherever it went. Yes, okay. Trash with you. And we need one more brake line. All right. I'm not going to do a full brake job on this. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, now i got to lower it back down. Uh, wrench is over here. And... Oh, God. Uh, there. Hold that in. And maybe I can transfer fluids. I don't know if that's something I can do. Hey, look at us go. It actually worked that. Whoops. Oh, God. It actually worked that time. How about that? All right. Uh, do I need any more? Or is that enough fluid to get us by? Oh, look at that. It's filling by itself magically. Awesome. Free brake brake fluid for everyone! Yay! Okay. Uh. All right. I gotta put this back up. So right about here. Okay. Yep. Uh, Mr. Wrench. And we need. Where'd they all go? Here they are. Mr. Brake lines. Let's see, there was one back here, right? Yeah, there. Uh, I can't tighten them yet until I get the... Can I put the actual hard lines in now? Yes, all right. All right. There we go. Braking system done. All right, so let's analyze this 
suspension situation here. That shock is good. Uh, that one is good. Both upper control arms are broken. Uh, yeah, we got a bad caliper on that side. Looks like we got a bad hub on this side. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I think I'm just going to just going to send it the way it is. I feel like that's too much hassle. Uh, we got a control arm here, which is easy enough to fix. This one's bad, too. That upper one is bad. I think I can replace all of that junk without having to take it all apart. I feel like this thing had a bad spring, though, somewhere. Because it was like, it was not sitting level. Unless I was just imagining it. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just try to try to sneak these these control arms out of here. Yep, that'll work. Uh and then we need let's see, this rear one right there. And right there. Uh, calm down now. Just just relax. This is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you. There we go. And is this this one's good. All right, so we need two rear lowers, one rear upper, and both front uppers. I'm never going to remember that. Uh Rear lowers. Two of those. One rear upper. Uh Front left, front right, control arm. There we go. Wrong side. There we go. There's that. Yeah, this is the easy way. There. Sweet. We bolt all this crap in, and uh, then we can do the body work. And send this thing out of here. I think I feel a little bit better in the game fixing up a car like this than, like, uh just like banging out dents on a junkyard piece of crap and selling that because it's like in the real world like you you probably can't really do that you know like i don't know too many people that if you bought some heap of crap car out of the junkyard <coughs> excuse me and uh and then made the body all one color then then somebody would just pay a bunch of money for it that doesn't really make any sense. I don't know. This is a little bit more realistic. In fact, I know a lot of people that actually just do this. They they find like you know cheap cars at the buy here, buy here, pay here, you know, lots or whatever, or they buy ones that have been wrecked but not totaled. 
and they, you know, fix them up and flip them. I mean, that makes a lot more sense. And that's kind of what we're doing here. So, uh, that's everything. That's everything, then, right? We just got to do the body work now. Is there any rust on these rockers? Let's look at that before we lower it. I don't think so. All right, let's put her down. I had to get a drink there. Sorry about that. Yeah, it looks like there's some dents that we got to deal with now. Uh, probably from that little that little lift mishap. You'll have that. It's fine. Just part of the oh god, it's part of the job. All right, let's get it off of these parts here. I'm going to be tripping over those the whole time I'm doing this, I know. Actually, why don't we try to clean some of this junk up here real quick. Uh, this probably won't work, but I will try it. Nine times out of ten, you put stuff in this box, and then you pick it up, and everything just stays where it was, and doesn't go with the box. But maybe it'll surprise me, you never know. This game does surprise me from time to time. Sometimes you think you know it, and then sometimes it just, you know, behaves in a way that you've never seen before. And that's part of the fun. Never know what you're gonna get. Alright, box. Pick up box. Yeah, see, nothing came with it. Well, I guess some of it did. All right. So I have to carry this crap the, the old-fashioned way. You know, I I always praise the um, the system of manipulating objects in the long drive, and how you can like your character can actually use both hands, and how incredibly useful it actually is. That's one thing that a lot of these games don't seem to have figured out yet is that your character has more than one hand so it's like nobody in their right mind is going to bend down pick up one of these three brake lines walk it over here to the dumpster then walk back bend down pick up one more <laughs> like nobody's going to do that like you're going to stuff all the crap in your arms until you can't carry anything else stumble to the to the dumpster, probably dropping a few of them. And then dump the whole thing in there, right? <laughs> All right. Shop cleanup done. Um, yeah, see, this thing is not sitting straight. So I think I have a bad spring somewhere. Like, it looks like it should be the front, that front left one, but. I don't have any idea. I, oh, it's this rear one. I wonder if I can snake that out here with the, with the tool. Oh, God. There it is. Look at that. We did it. Now, can I put a new one in? That's the next question. Spring. Oh, we're, on a, we're already at the springs. R. For race. <laughs> Grab my little tool. And... Pow. Hey, hey, look at that. We fixed it. All right. All right, get out of here. 
sometimes the broken springs are hard to see. Like, especially when you have it up in the air. All right, we got to do this body work here and then get this thing out of here. Um, oh, what about the oil? I better check that. Oh, it looks bad. Ah, that'll be somebody else's problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick the hood back on too, I guess. All right. Uh, I'm gonna break out the grinders and stuff, I guess. Here we go. All right, I have be willing to bet this door has more rust on it somewhere. Oh, yeah, you know what? I also need to um, get the hammer and see if I can pound any of this stuff out. I feel like there was more rust on this thing. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and just pull that door panel. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here dicking with it for forever. Whoops. All right, wrench, where'd you go? Wrench, 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 oh. Good grief. I apologize if you heard any of that cough. I tried to mute it. I don't know if I got there fast enough. All right. Yep, a little bit. That probably would have given me a hard time. All right. There we go. Now it's clean. All right. Uh, jams are good. B pillars are good. This hood needs some work. This door is the wrong color, so I should probably go ahead and pull that door panel as well. Rockers are good. Jams are good. Okay. All right, yeah, let's pull off this one here. Wrench. I have lost it again. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. There. All right, close that. Oh, there we go. Done. Okay, what's the rust condition say? It says it's excellent. All right. Uh, hammer time. Because clearly I must have bent something out of shape when I had that lift mishap. Actually, it looks fine, doesn't it? Some of it doesn't look like it's lining up, though. Uh, well, let's try the Bondo then. All right, there's a little bit. I have a feeling there's going to be a little bit more. Yeah, um, okay. There's got to be more than that. 
Also, it looks like there might be some rust there. Better deal with that. Yeah, this thing's got like... This thing's got panel gaps like a Tesla, man. Jeez. Alright, well, whatever. Let me investigate this little bit here. I don't think that's rust, actually. Uh, just in case it is, we'll blast it with Mr. Sandblaster here. Yeah, I don't think that's rust. It's fine. It's all fine. So what color are you? Yeah, look at that. That doesn't line up even a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, 89A489. a 489 Probably won't need more than three. I don't even think I need my... Ugh, I don't even think I need my big lights on for this. I think I can just... Just give it a blast here. Uh, okay, there we go. Do I have any I need to know? All right. Oh, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Doing that whole blotchy paint thing. That's fine. All right, do we even need another can, or is that enough? Color condition, where are we at? It's good. Overall condition is still not good. Why? Why is that? Oh, yeah, forgot that spot. Oh. Okay. Stick this other door panel in there. There we go. Is it done? Ninety-two. I'd say I probably lost money on this job. I don't know why the overall condition is so bad. Huh. Yeah, I, I either barely made any money at all or I possibly broke even. I'm not sure. Well, that stinks. I'm guessing maybe the uh the mishap with the with the uh lift probably didn't help matters too much if I had to guess. Maybe we'll go back to our old antics here and just go uh, find a find a heap of crap at the junker and see what we can do with that, huh? Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, 
how's everybody doing today? I forgot to ask that earlier. I apologize. I hope everybody's doing great. I got some uh, some good news today. Um, well, I guess I can't really share it yet, but uh, another one of my creative endeavors is um, uh, I, there, there's another opportunity for me to uh, to do something creative uh, in the music area. So I'll have more details about that when I can release it. But, um, yeah, really excited, really happy about it. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. It's also going to be some work for me to get it done, but, you know, it's worth it when I'm doing something that I love doing, so. This thing is a perfect candidate. It's rusty as flipping heck. Heck, I say. Uh... Yeah, we could make some serious money off of this. Uh, I can also grab a door off of that one. This thing is completely straight, but the, the body is in really, really bad shape. And it's got no engine or trans. So this literally would be a shell. The color condition's pretty good, though, and that would kind of hurt me a little bit. So there might be something that would be a better value. Probably not that. 3200, yeah, color condition's good. Here we go, maybe this. Well, color condition's not as good. It's also missing a door, but it doesn't have a lot of rust. I want all the rust. There's another one. See, this might be better. Ah, this is what we want. Even though the rust condition says it's the same as that one, which sure doesn't look like it. What about this? These are all like the same condition. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe this. I also can't figure out why the headliners fall out of the junkyard cars, and you can't put them back in. That's weird. Don't know why they do that. This has a lot of rust. Uh, and at least one door panel that's the wrong color. Let's do that. I think we'll get some money off of that. So, and we'll take this uh, headliner too. And I don't suppose... I don't see a door for a Jesse or a Jason in here anywhere. I'll do one quick check. Oh, that's the front right door for a Jesse right there. Look at that. Wait, that's the front. Yeah, give me that. Wasn't it? That was the same color too, wasn't it? Uh, you know what? I don't even know. Okay, so we can, uh, no, it's not the same color. Okay, that's fine. But we can stick this crap on right here. Nope. Okay. There we go. And suck that up and take this. This is not clearly not a good headliner. But it's better than not having one. So, hell yeah. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's beautiful. All right, send her home. 
Tow it to the sign. Please and thank you. Taxi to garage. Yes. Okay. Well, okay, we're gonna make some money off of this sucker. Uh let's wash her up. There we go, there we go. Yeah, this will be an easy flip job, I think. There isn't much to do, really. Just clean up the rust and send it. Yeah, even though I was just saying, like, oh, it doesn't really make sense to be able to do that. It's like, well, that doesn't mean I'm not going to take advantage of a mechanic in a game that might be a little bit broken. But I think... Anyone who has played this game and anybody who any of the youtubers that do I've heard most of them say it at least once before That hardly any of the other jobs pay enough to even be worth the time to do it uh, So there needs to be some some re Reconfiguring of uh, How the jobs pay out in this game, I think because otherwise nobody is going to do anything else besides this and that's not like, you know, that's not what I, that's not the only thing I want to do in this game. I want to do other crap. Heck, I've been trying to, I've been trying to win races for a while and I just, all I end up doing is blowing my cars up, so. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. And you know, the, the, the auto body jobs are, are kind of a pain in the butt to do, but. Compared to like doing a head gasket, right? Like those jobs only pay, I don't know, what, $100 or something? And you got to basically tear an entire engine apart, take all the accessories off. You know, the head gasket only costs 50 bucks or something, but like. So you, you actually, the, the profit that you make from a head gasket job is only like 50 or $60. And I can do. I could probably do this this flip way faster than I could do a head gasket on almost any car on this in this game. Maybe the lad would wouldn't be so bad, but um, just about any other car in this game would be a bear. God sakes. All right. I should probably go ahead and take off this door panel. I got to deal with rusty rockers too, which is not going to be fun, but I think we can do it. There we go. Oh, yeah, there was even some rust on there, too. Look at that. All right. Let's get to town here. Um, I am going to use Mr. Sandblaster for these rockers because I think it's easy enough to just blast the whole car, but for the rockers, the Sandblaster really makes it easy. Yeah, that should be, that should be good.
I wonder if I'm going to be able to even get that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Excellent. All right. And I'm going to use this for the bed, too, because the bed is pain. Not as bad as the... the truck, but... There we go. There's some bits underneath there, too, that's kind of a... Kind of an ass. <laughs> oh, out of sand. Need more sand. Where'd all my sand? Yeah, that's right. It went through the wall. Forgot. There we are. Oh, look at that. I see you hiding. Also, why does this thing keep bouncing like that? It's making me a little uncomfortable. See, I don't think I can fix that without cutting panels. Um, so, screw it. Well, that came out easy. Wow. I think there's still some on this lip. I still see some in the corner of the bed over here, too. Huh? Got it. So is this thing actually this salmon color? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're painting this thing? All right. Can't blast those. See if the see if the grinder can get them. All right, that's enough of that. Uh... Oh, easy peasy. Well, spoke too soon. Ugh. Okay, that's going to be a butt. All right, we got that. All right, there's that. We got anything behind this bumper I have to deal with? Hmm, how am I going to get that? I was going to try a different angle of attack here. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Now all I've got is... This crap right here. That's part, like, this whole front is, uh, it's like all one piece, isn't it? It's like it's bolted on there. Is there just two bolts to hold that on? That's a screw, of course. 
Uh, well, I probably have to take off the bumper as well. So let's do that. There we are. There's some more rust down there that I missed. All right, let's grab Mr. Screwdriver. Oh, that's easy. Easy peasy. Uh, it'll probably make more sense just to get a new front panel. Jesse Jason. Um, let's do that. Oh, there it is right there. Front panel. All right. Didn't have to weld it or nothing. That's that's what I call easy. Uh, yeah, and see, there's no body behind the bumper either, so I can just stick this bumper back on. I don't have to worry about painting behind it. I love it. All right. Are we ready to paint this beast? What's the rust condition say? It says it's excellent. All right. Uh, original color, 4B. So this is going to be a complete respray. 4B393A. 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 By 6 O them. You got a bunch of extra paint and crap here I don't need. Uh, there we go. All right. All right, let's go nuts. Oh, that looks like absolute buttocks. <laughs> Excellent. I think that's just dirt, actually, the reason why it looks like that. All right. That is a very interesting color, I will say. All right, I think after we finish this job, I'll start on the on the wolf. Getting it, getting all the panels cut apart, figuring out what I need to do. That's certainly not going to be, certainly not going to get it done in one episode, I don't think. Whoa, okay. All right, moving right along here. <laughs> so this is also, I guess, kind of a situation where if you were, if you pulled an old classic car out of a junkyard and got the shell all prepped and ready to go, then I could see there being some money in that. Especially if, you know, the numbers were good and the, 
the VIN wasn't forged or anything like that, and you had all the documentation and everything like that, and that I can understand, uh, especially for something like a freaking Chevelle or even probably an El Camino these days. Um, just for as much money as those cars go for now, it's it's completely stupid. But uh, that would make sense. Um, but all the cars in this game are not, you know, classic show cars, I don't think. Well, clearly the lads aren't, right? Um, but they also never really say, like, like what time period this game takes place, either. Like, there's a bunch of old cars in the game. Is it, is it because that's just what everybody drives? Or, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Because the wolf isn't that old. It's not as old as this thing, right? So it's very curious. Very, very curious. I... Scapegoat said it in the other the other day in one of his videos, and I was thinking it like at the same time. Like I really wish that they had fuel injection in this game as well. Because I I mean, in this, in this day and age, I pretty much won't work on anything with a carburetor unless I have to. Like I just won't do it. Carbureted stuff absolutely freaking sucks. Just like that that Honda motorcycle that I was working on, you know, had a carburetor. Thankfully, it only had one. Most motorcycles have multiple. That makes it even worse. Um, but yeah, I don't even know if I told you guys what happened with that. Something crazy happened. Uh, I got it rebuilt. I, you know, I put the the carburetor completely completely torn apart. Um, I put all the carburetor pieces through my ultrasonic cleaner like three times. Everything was pristine. Um, put it all back together. All the parts fit. Everything worked just fine. Uh, and I went to start it up and it just, it, I, I could barely get it to start and it was running like, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't reach the, <coughs> the microphone fast enough. Like, everything, it was just running like complete crap. Could not figure out what was going on. I changed all the vacuum lines. I changed all the fuel hoses. I changed everything. The carburetor was adjusted properly. I made, I triple checked everything. Could not figure out what was going on. And, uh, and, you know, by the way it was behaving, it was behaving like it was extremely lean. But that didn't make any sense to me. Like, that, that obviously means some kind of fuel delivery problem or whatever. You know, I took the fuel tank out of the equation. I just ran gas straight into the carburetor uh, from, like, a makeshift fuel tank, um, bypassing the, the little fuel pump that it's got and all that stuff. And so eventually I took the carburetor back off, started taking things apart, and uh, I have these little, um, I think they're like for a furnace, they're like pilot light um, cleaning like files. And they're, they're like these extremely small little like rods, basically. They're tiny little files that you apparently use to clean pilot light nozzles on stoves and stuff. I don't know. Uh and I use those to kind of measure um, the jets on carburetors, the openings sizes and stuff like that, and also to clean them. And so I measured the, the old jets that I took off of the bike and measured the new ones that were in the rebuild kit that the, the person who owned the bike bought the rebuild kit. I didn't buy it. And they were, the, the ones from the kit were freaking too small. 
they were they didn't have numbers stamped on them either so i just i looked at them and i said yeah they look pretty good stuck them in the bike you know i didn't do anything i didn't do any other checking or anything which i should have done learned my lesson there but they were completely too small like at least half the size i was dumbfounded completely dumbfounded like you gotta be kidding me so yeah i took the old jets got them cleaned out the old jets and stuck them back in there and what do you know I ran like a champ <laughs> but like that's the kind of stuff that drives me crazy about carburetors like that was clearly my fault right like i should have I should have looked at the new ones and tried to compare them with the old, especially since they didn't have numbers on them, but uh, that's the first time I've ever run into a problem like that. And so now I guess I'll just have to check it every time. But yeah, crazy. I spent way more time than I wanted to just trying to troubleshoot why the stupid thing wouldn't run right. But that's like why that's why I hate carburetors, you know, <laughs> like everything's there that should be there to make it run right. And it doesn't work like with fuel injection. If everything's there and operating correctly and there's easy ways to test everything, right, then it's going to work. Like there's no guessing. There's no second guessing. There's no wondering like it's going to work. Uh, carburetors, sometimes even if everything looks like it's going to work, it won't work. Good times. All right, we gotta we gotta jumble here. Let's move this over a little bit. Well, I think this thing's done. What do we say? What do we say? Yep, clean rust color condition. Oh, I need to change the color. Uh, so we're gonna change it back to four B three nine three A. There we go and clean rust color perfect sell it i made some pretty good money off. oh man i forgot the door panel oh well made some pretty good money off of that one all right so back to this thing here uh yeah i actually don't have a whole lot of time so real quick we got to figure out what we need to replace and it's going to be i have a feeling it's going to be almost everything Ugh, my beautiful wolf ah that hurts all right first things first i guess clearly the rear window is bad so we'll do a we'll do a pile of bad parts like right here by the dumpster so i can just Huck them all in there once I have everything. I think this is probably fine. So, good part, go over here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh... This spoiler, is this one okay? Yeah, this bit's good, so we'll keep that one. Well, that's good, too. Okay. I thought that one was all mangled up. Looks like it's okay. So my cool spoiler survived. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling that, all right, we got some trunk trim, that's okay. We have trunk carpet. Looks like that's okay. Uh, see, this bit bolts on. I never did change the color on this thing. Zero 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 B three four. All right. Um, 
That's just so I don't forget. So this tail light on this end is screwed. Uh, I don't even know if I can get to it. Here we go. There we go. Whoa, easy there. All right, bad part. I don't think I can fix this trunk. Actually, maybe I can. It doesn't look that bad. Where's my hammer? I think the trunk is good. No freaking way. The trunk survived, y'all. That is unbelievable. Um, does it need Bondo? Yes. You know what? Forget it. That's stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a new trunk lid on it. Who cares? Uh... <laughs> Thought I was gonna get away with it, but... Uh... Oh my god. Yep, we'll just, uh... We'll just chuck it and get a new one. Who cares? Um, there's trim on the inside here, right? I forget where the bolt is. I think this one's good. Can't even see the bolt. There it is. There it is. All right. That one be mangled. How do I fix this bit right here? I don't even know. See, I think I'm going to have to put a new roof on this thing, too. Because this is all crinkled up. And I don't think the hammer is going to fix that. Nope. It's not going to fix any of this. So, this bumper obviously needs to go. My fancy bumper. Wah! There it goes. Look at that. There's still some green under there. Alright, so now we gotta start cutting all this crap off. Uh, uh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck the big one. Uh, oh, I need a new wheel. I'm like, why can't I see what I can cut off? There. Yeah, so this part right here. I'm guessing that right there. Oh my god, look at this. Cut it all.
Ah, damn it, pick it up. Yeah, so let's cut this. I think this panel is going to have to be replaced too. How come none of this stuff's coming off? Uh... Um, hello? Why you not let go? Is there another one under here I didn't see? Yeah, because the fuel tank's here, so it's not bolted to it. The subframe over here... Yeah, that shouldn't be part of it either. I am confused. Maybe I got to bolt the back seats out? I think I need to cut this part out right here, too. That didn't come out either. Nuts. Um... Oh, there was a, on the other side, I could see, I keep thinking that's a cut point. It's not. Is that? That's not either. Did I already get it on this side? See, there's supposed to be one right there. Did I already get that? Must have, because I don't see it. I think it should be right here. Uh, this is, this is a challenge, right, right here. All right, so I guess I have to cut this one. And still, nothing is letting go. All right, let's start unbolting things then. That's got to be the only thing holding some of this stuff on. Do that, we'll do... Oh, my fuel tank was already loose. No kidding. All right, well, that's good, though. So, yeah. What the heck is holding this crap on? Like the shock just like wiggled its way up like some kind of fish that's good i feel like this is where you need the hammer to start beating the panels off like because what's holding this stuff on here there's nothing left I guess we need to pull the seats out. This is going to be a big job, guys. <laughs> really big job. All right, we'll put the interior over here. Uh, okay, so that didn't... Nothing let go when I did that. Oh my god, could you just get back there? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, see the glass is broken, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so that's all of the stuff.
like the carpet is still in. The only thing that's left that's bolted on is the is the uh, the rear subframe and stuff. Which how in the world? Oh my lord! This is gonna be this is gonna be quite the undertaking here. Um, I gotta try to shove this thing onto the lift. Let's see if I can do it. Is that good? Nope, that's wanged. Yeah, the it's not lining up right. So, in the pile you go. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, here we go. I guess I gotta pull the wheels off. Um, because there's clearly some suspension damage in the back as well, right? So, uh, I may as well just plan on yanking all this junk off. I had bolted something else that I wasn't supposed to. Crap, who knows what it was? <sighs> I don't know. What the hell just happened to my wrench? Just freaking like time warped. I think it was the spring. I think I, I think I clicked on the spring. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I definitely need a new wheel and tire. Ugh. Well, I don't know. I can't really tell if this is broken or not. Dude, why does my wrench just keep disappearing like that? All right, I saw it. Where'd it go? Jeez. Okay. Um, all right, so I guess we'll just... start unbolting all this and hope that when I let this go, the entire back half of the car just falls apart. Because I don't know, I don't know what else is holding the, uh, these panels on. That just doesn't make any sense. And why would it let me cut them if I can't replace them? Let's see, all of this stuff bolts onto the subframe, right? So what we need to do is lift it up a little bit more. And unbolt the drive shaft. Now obviously the exhaust would have to come off. I think I'm going to do it anyway just because it's Getting in the way.
By the way, this bolt right here is not loose. It just looks like that. See? I don't know why. It just does. <laughs> um. Okay, so those brake lines are disconnected. All right. Uh, the e-brake. Right there. Right there. Yes. So is this attached to the body or is that part of the subframe? I think that's part of the subframe. All right, so here we go. We're going to take that off. Um, differential can stay bolted in. We're going to unbolt that. We're going to unbolt that. And we're going to get out of the way. Boom. Look at that. All right. However, one of my brake rotors is, oh, it's over there. Okay. I'm not really sure why that happened, but all right. Well, that worked out really well. And now that this is on the ground, I can kind of take a better look. Yeah, see, I think I unbolted the the center hub bolt there. Yeah, this hub is bad. The next question is: Is any is any of that are any of those arms damaged? See, that looks kind of tweaked to me. Oh, that one looks like that too, though. All right. Uh, I think that all looks okay to me. Huh. Well, that's kind of amazing. Uh, so at least I don't have to replace everything back there. But why? Why won't these panels come off? I've cut them all off. What is left? So we've got... See, this is for like the rear... Like the whole rear trunk floor and everything. I don't want to cut all that stuff off. So we've got, that's probably like the inner fender. Uh, let's do that. Nothing. Okay. Let's do that. All right. That's something. I am pretty sure this is bad. But why can't I get any of this stuff off? I mean, what's the point of having a hundred different welds back here if... If none of them actually let go anything? It's gonna be probably that... Oh, that's the whole rear. Look at that. Alright, well, let's take this taillight out because that's good. All right, that'll go in my good pile. This rear valence, I guess we'll just get rid of that. because It didn't look like it was bad, but maybe it is. Well, whether it is or not, I'll replace it. So we still have all of this crap that won't come off. And if I cut this, the trunk floor will come out, which is great, but I, I need this to come out. And this, I need this part to come out. Why won't it? 
I don't know. Is there a... Uh, you know what? There might be a... No, that's on the... Yeah, that's on the that's on the hood or the, not the hood the roof. What's this? Yeah, see, here's all the welds for the rockers and crap in there, which I don't know if I'm gonna need to worry about right now. Like, I think I will because because this is bad. I need more grinding discs. Good thing I have some. All right. Uh... Yeah, still, still not letting go. So there's the inner panel, which I think that's good. Maybe? I don't have a, I don't have a maybe pile. We'll put that in the good pile for now, and if it doesn't go back on, then we'll know that it's, uh, broken. All right, you know what? I need to, uh, pop off this rocker trim. Which I'm pretty sure that's good. I think this is good. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's a dent on the top. Yeah, let's just throw that in the bad pile, I guess. So look at all this crap. Like, why isn't this coming off? Is it because the brake line is there? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's the, the parking brake. Yeah, man, this is really weird. I don't understand what's holding this stuff in. It's it's all been removed. I just don't get it. But anyways, I will fiddle around with it some more later. But I've got to call this episode for now. Wow, that's bizarre. Why is it doing that? Yeah, I can't. If I sit here, I'll just I'll sit here all night and try to figure it out. So, oh, look at that beautiful sunset. Perfect. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. I hope you did too. Um, please like and subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff if you haven't already done so. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care, everybody. Bye. Oh, yes, I love that.